WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets hanging barely onto some positive territory. S&Ps right now negative, uh, negative, positive by six points, trading at 2786. We got the Dow positive by 24, trading at 25,155. And the NASDAQ positive by 10 points, trading at 75. 57. Notes and bonds basically are around flat territory. We get the 10 year negative three ticks at 125.17, the 30 year positive three ticks trading at 152.27. You got gold right now up $6 at 1292.30. Gold getting a nice bid to the upside. We got the dollar index down 15 ticks at 97,485. Start things off, let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the S&P. A little bit of volatility. We reach an intraday high just prior to noon Eastern time of 27.93. I say intraday, I guess at 10.30 we were up there, but after that point, we reach 27.93, currently trading 27.87 in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar pattern. We make a low for the day just in the last about 20 minutes of 72.29. NASDAQ 100 trading 72.41. Dow 30 trading at 25,163, kind of in the middle of its trading range for the day. Crude oil trading lower. We just peaked, did we get, we did, got below $57, hit 56.80, quite a run to the downside, currently trading basically right at $57, backing this up a bit. I mean, it's been a roller coaster. I mean, look at yesterday, right? We were right down to this exact point yesterday, $57, and then we traded up to 59.50. We'll see if today is any different. Natural gas, we got EIA numbers at 10.30 this morning. We also got crude numbers at 11, so that's playing into what happened today as well. Natural gas trading at 2.55, and euro US dollar trading 111.36. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, we got GDP numbers this morning, 3.1%. Market had been looking in for about 3%. Either way, economy seems to be doing well with that number. And then what else you have out there? It is still earnings season. We got some earnings. So there is Dollar General trading up 7.5%. They're already out in terms of what's coming out today. We got Uber after the bell. Uber trading basically at $40. When you get Costco after the bell, Costco up about four tenths of a percent. You're also going to get Alta, Alta Salon up 1.1% ahead of those numbers. Stay tuned, folks. Tom O'Brien coming up live from 3 till 5 as he wraps up this market day. Should be exciting with those earnings. Stay tuned. Have a great Thursday.